I got myself into a box of pennies and I got some piles going on a little bit here a little bit there not too many uh wheats though I got a 1944 Philly and a 57 Denver but I did just get a 41 Philly in very good condition so I decided to turn the camera on very nice and other than that just uh, San Francisco 1960 two Canadians and I'll check back in next time I get a wheat alright same roll as that 1941 and I got a 1955 Denver looks like it got shot twice with a BB gun 1945 Philadelphia All right we're a little bit more than halfway done and you can see I got a couple little piles I did just get another wheat it's a 1952 San Francisco and I'm gonna continue with this box and then when I'm done I'm gonna move right on to that box so this will be a big pile all right next roll and we got a 1956 Denver. 1956 Denver. We got two more, a 1944 Philly and a 1952 Denver. And that makes 10 on the box with four rolls left. 1958 Denver. All right, just started this box and the first box, there was a lot of 80s, um, a decent amount of 70s, a little bit more than normal. We ended with 11 wheat, and just the first, I want to say, three rolls in this box. We got three wheats, uh, 1952 Denver, another 1952 Denver, and a 1940. There we go, now it's a little bit better. So, we're going to keep on working at this and keep saving them coppers. Alright, a couple rolls in and I did just get a first. As you can see, I'm separating everything. Check this out. Flying Eagle. I believe that's what they're called. 1867 and 1967 so it could just not it could be from 1967 which would make it really not that old but I don't know why that would be 1967 and then other ones that are right oh that wait hold on here I got two of them wow okay well that's a complete surprise so maybe it was just 1967 they made them, and 1968 they weren't? I don't know, I've never got one in my life. So I have no idea. I'm gonna have to look at that. That's pretty cool though, I had one the whole time, I don't even know it. Got about half a box left, and the piles are definitely growing. I did get some more wheats. I forget where we left off, so I'll go with the 57 Philly, 53 Denver, and a 44 Philly. It looks like a clip planchet, but it's very hard to tell because it's it's so old. I mean, somebody could have did that, or it really is a clip planchet. It's, it's really hard to tell. But either way, uh, 18 wheats, and we still have a half a box to go. Alright, so this is the wrap up for two boxes. Over here you have all the 1980s. And then all the 1970s. All the 1960s and 59s. These three were the better looking. Um, the 1968 to San Francisco. Uh, I have to look at these with the uh, jewelers loop to see if there's any RPMs or anything like that, but it doesn't really look like it. Actually, they're not even in good enough shape to keep. I think I'll put them back. But these are the nicer of the 2009s. And then we have some 1960s, which I already checked. And there's no repunchment mark or double dies. For San Francisco's, we got a 1969, 
1974, a 1970, a 1970, a 1972, and a 1952, which is also a wheat. For foreigns, we got 87, 86, 85, 81, 77, 73, 68, 63, and then a 50 and a 48, which are the two older ones. Also, I got this. And it's a 1966. Along with the two Canadian bicentennial flying doves. That's not an eagle, it's actually a dove. And um, I think there was like 4.5 million of them minted, so. There goes that, and then we go to the wheats. A 45 Philly, a 46 Philly, a 50 Denver, a 52 Denver, a 51 Philly. Uh, 57 Denver, 41 Philly, which is in really good condition. 44 Philly, 45 Philly, 55 Denver. 56 Denver, 56 Denver, 44 Philly. 52 Denver, 58 Denver, 52 Denver, 52 Denver, 40 Philly, 58 Denver, 57 Philly, and then down here we have a 53 Denver, 56 Denver, 52 Denver, and the 44 Philly with a possible clip planchet. I'm going to go with it as a clip planchet after I looked at it a little bit better. And then a 1929 Philadelphia, which is the lowest year that I've got. And then these are all the 1983s that I'll be weighing for the error 3.1 gram planchet. So that is what I got after two boxes, and all of these will be going in their own boxes, the 80s, 70s, 60s, and wheats. And I'll be saving them for when we're allowed to melt them, except for the wheats, I'll keep them. What's up everybody, Portrait Coins here, and there you have two boxes of pennies, and I was happy with the outcome, it's just a bunch of more coppers I have now, so eventually one day, hopefully, I can melt them and get them out of the way, because they're just stacking up in boxes as of right now, I'd love to have just, you know, a couple bars, but one day, hopefully, anyway, there was a bunch of good wheats in there, the clip planchet, the 1929, it's not low mintage, it was just a lower year, so not the best for wheats, but the Canadians, I usually hate foreign coins, but the two doves, they were pretty cool, the two earlier dates, I think it was like a 46 and a 50 or something like that, they were cool, so uh, a couple firsts on the boxes, and I was happy with that, um, I'm headed off to the bank now, so I'll go get boxes of something, most likely half dollars and pennies or something like that, maybe nickels. But I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, subscribe, share, like, and I will see you guys in a day or two. Take care.